Alright guys, I'm uh, just continuing from where I left off. Uh, I'm going to do nails, I'm going to show you to make a more detailed window. Um, it's surprisingly not hard to do, but uh, still, you know, could require some instruction. Uh, get rid of that fucking spare bird that so. Um, you know, what I've done is I've just made my basic window box here. Um, I'm going to go into my 8x8 grid. I'm just going to create these two little sectors here, and then I'm going to bridge them together with the big one in the center. And then, uh, just to give myself some room to work with, I'm just going to create my actual, you know, window room. Um, so now here it is. Let's lower this down to zero, get this back up to 128. I'll give it a sky texture and all that, just for shits and giggles. to differentiate between the inside and outside. I'm just adding this texture here. It's nothing big. Um, now, what I made these two little sectors for is because I'm going to actually bring these down to level with this platform, as you can see. Alright, and I'm going to lift the center parts up and down one and you can already see there's the that's going to be the structure of our window uh, I'm just going to use door stop on the outside and I'm going to use Sean 2 on these parts do is set this to like a door track and make it as if the window could close. I'll just lift it up one. And I'll just fill in this little bit like that. Do the same thing down here. And then from the player's view, you can see it's a nice little window going on here. And, you know, the outdoor brightness is brighter. You can even do the effect of having light shining in through the window if you really wanted to. Um, you can also add uh, window panes with uh, the translucent line function. Um, I'll show you how to do that real quick. Go back into our 8x8. And I'm just going to create this little line def here. I'm going to make it impassable. And uh, I'll just find a texture that would fit for a window. So mid space is usually good for this. And when you go in, there it is. And it creates a nice effect, you know, you can do all kinds of other stuff. This is just the, the stock Doom textures, but, uh, you know, working with what you got is one of the best ways to learn how to map. Because, uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, anyone can go and get a whole shitload of texture packs and, you know, make a really sick map or something. Just because they've got decent textures, but, you know, uh, I prefer to work with just the stock Doom textures and see what I can make. Um, and then you've got... Another aspect of detail being uh, computers. It, you know, it sounds stupid, simple enough, and it is. Uh, just gonna get a 128 guy in here, and I'm gonna line it up. There we go. 
Right, and this is this is one of the easiest things you can do to really add some detail to your map. Um, just gonna find myself a nice computer. That one looks good. That fits perfectly. I'm just gonna give this the good old Sean too. I'm gonna put a door stop on the inside of here. I'm gonna give this flat 20. Increase the brightness. Now, as you can see, I've got this door stop here, but it, it, it doesn't flow well into the rest of the texture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my grid at 8. I'm just going to place a vertex right there on the outside of each part. And as you can see, it's created a separate line def. I'm just going to give this door stop. In this way, uh, it flows a lot better into next part because then it seems like there's an actual border to where the computer begins and ends and all that and uh, I mean that right there is just simple enough I've I've got three separate pieces well four separate pieces of detail in this tiny sector and you know it's a, it actually creates a decent effect um, another thing while I'm here before I uh, you know cut this one off um, is the broken floor effect This one takes a little guess and check on my part, but uh, there it is. As you can see, what I've done is I merely just took my floor texture, made the shape of it, and uh, to lower in increments of one, you just hold in shift when you scroll your mouse wheel, because I like to keep it only kind of low. And what I'm going to do is underneath, um, I'm just going to have like a, a dirt texture. Not that one. There's a a nice softer dirt that I'm looking for. That one was a little harsh with a lot of like black and stuff in between. Looks a bit too too difficult on the eyes. This one. Okay, now assigning these textures can be a bitch when they're just two pixels low. So uh, I usually just lower it down by eight temporarily and bring it back up, and there it is. And now what you can do with this newly created piece is you can copy and paste it to make different patterns. Alright, I gotta move these guys up. <laughs> And as you can see, it, you know, looks like the floor is like dilapidated, and it it does add a great amount of detail to your map. You just and it's so simple. I mean, it takes a bit of guess and check work, as you saw, but uh, I've used this effect numerous times on some of my Doom Classic maps. And so you can undo them, redo them once they're in place. I mean. Essentially, you could create pretty much the whole damn sector with this little effect here and, uh, you know, customize it as you wish. But, uh, you know, that's just a nice, simple thing you can do throughout the whole sector and create a nice aged look. Uh, the computers are easy enough to do. Same thing with making a window with a little bit of detail and your light sources. Uh, next up, I'm going to show you how to make a teleport with a lot of detail because the standard just, you know, like 64 by 64 gate or whatever just doesn't cut it for me. So I'm going to show you how to add a bit of detail to it. So watch out for the next tutorial.